Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today, we're going to talk about a couple things. Uh, the main thing we're going to do is review Miles Morales number two, which came out this week. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to give a special shout out to Dante, who's this young man who came into the Lego store, and I'll put the image up right there. He had just recently had a birthday party, and his mom was telling me about it, that it was black costume Spider-Man themed, and that they had some Venom stuff there. And I was like, holy cow, that's awesome. I'm a big Venom fan. And they were nice enough to say, hey, would you like this decoration? We were just going to throw it out or give it away to somebody else. Um, but if you're a big fan i said well i do a youtube show you know i'm like 420 plus episodes into it uh, that i just talk about venom and stuff and in black costume spider-man sometimes and they were like get out of here so they looked it up they're like hey we'll subscribe to you we'll watch the show and uh yeah you can have this so i said well look i can't just take something from you that's super generous i go how about i i trade you you know uh, from fan to fan and i go so you're a big spider-man fan with the different costumes and dante was like yeah i said well i have this six foot spider-man poster uh, that's been on my wall for like, you know, eight or nine years now, uh, but you know, from apartment to apartment. And I said, uh, how about I trade you that? Cause I'm going to need wall space for this new venom ornament and, uh, and I'll trade you that. And he was like, sure. So he came in the other day and we traded and it was super awesome. So, uh, thank you, Dante. Thank you, Dante's mom. I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. Um, I, or if you said it, I'm so, I'm so sorry. My memory is, is for crap sometimes. Uh, but, uh, so Dante, thank you. Now I'm going to have this awesome piece of artwork hanging on my wall, which was cool. Cause I think our friend Roman had this when he was doing in his channel and uh you know before because i think he does gaming stuff now but just gaming stuff but uh when he had his show he had that in the background too so it's the same thing uh, but it was really nice of them because they paid a lot of money for it on amazon and they were nice enough to to gift it to me so hopefully we got an even exchange out of it hopefully like the spider-man poster dante and i definitely like this and it got me to shift some stuff around i was able to you know show the gray matter art poster back there the print i got uh, that they sent me too so uh, this is nice and it caused me to shift some things around so this is pretty cool uh thank you very much for helping me make the studio and the space look awesome and him being lit by purple light back there looks pretty awesome so anyway thank you dante and uh, and big shout out to you and uh, like i said i had that image go up so uh yeah if that's on my instagram got a lot of likes too uh so thank you all of you that who uh you know liked that picture and and shared it and talked about it and stuff and wrote nice comments uh thank you very much i, I put in there the power of the symbiotes connects us all once again and uh, and that's true i mean that brought all of you guys to this show and it's you know hopefully continuing the show to grow but it was cool to meet you know a young Venom fan uh, and a young uh, fan of black costume Spider-Man and everything. Uh, that's awesome. And it showed me, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, Spider-Man and Venom, especially Venom 2, uh, does appeal to younger kids, even though he's kind of scary looking. Uh, younger kids like it. You know, they think he's cool looking. So, and that goes back to when I liked Venom and, you know, all of us who watch the show, we all liked Venom at a young age and it grew with us. So uh, that just solidifies that it's still going around for the next generation, which is great. All right. So now without further ado, because it's getting hot in my apartment and I'm, I can't tell, I'm starting to get a little sick i woke up this morning or yesterday morning and i could feel a little tickle in my throat and then today when i went to work i could might i was getting like clogged up and so i'm like you know what i better record these before i get worse so at saturday night my roommate's not here and i'm like all right this is the time let's get let's knock these out real quick before he gets home from work so uh today like i said we're gonna talk about absolute carnage miles morales and number two and this book, it's written by uh, Saladin Ahmed, who was we've talked about before. Uh, he did like a symbiote Spider-Man annual at one point. Uh, and then he's like the writer of the Miles Morales book. So I like his voice for Miles. He does a pretty good job uh, as far as like, you know, it's Miles sounds a little bit like Miles, but now it's hard for me because Miles to me, like I like the early Bendis stuff, but then it kind of fell away and I kind of lost interest in Miles. Spider-Verse really reinvigorated my interest in Miles. And so did the Spider-Man video game. And those are two distinctly different sounds for Miles, but they still feel like the same character, like they harken back to the same character. Saladin, he does okay at that. I guess he does better than some other writers I've seen do it, uh, but it's still not quite there in some ways. Uh, but in this issue, it's hard to really judge that on this issue because a lot of this was Miles trapped inside the symbiote that has now taken over him and him trying to fight his way back. Although I will say that back and forth, I found kind of bland in this one. Like in the Scream one, uh, that one seemed to pop more in the second issue where Colin Bunn was having Donna, Diego, and, and uh, Patricia and all these voices in one head and everything. It, it's That seemed more interesting and, and a little bit more well done. This one didn't. I mean, like it does open with some, you know, like monologuing and ca captioning. A lot of this book is caption writing actually where it's like the little boxes and you're, you're hearing the symbiote's voice and it's like, oh, we serve no, we're part of Carnage in a way, all of us have a hive mind. It's, but it's still speaking as an individual, even though it's like, you know, even though it's admits to being part of a hive mind. So I, I don't know, it's like, okay, that's, 
I guess that can be interesting, but it, it started to lose me a little bit because I like the first issue of this one. This one, it started to pull me out a little bit with the writing. The, the art is still fantastic, and uh, the imagery in this was pretty good, and seeing Miles being trapped is actually done pretty well. Not as well, obviously, as Ryan Stegman when he did like that image where he's like sinking in the first, you know, in the issue three at the beginning of Absolute Carnage 3. Nothing quite that visually stunning, uh, but still getting the point across in this one. And uh, the artist who is uh, Vincentini, uh, Federico Vincentini, uh, does, uh, does or uh, Vis Vicentini, sorry, I added an N there. Um, they did a great great job overall with like the the dynamics of things and even like little big splash pages like this or some single panels like looked out you know looked pretty good i like this one where it was like an over the shoulder at first where it's like miles you know trying to trying to connect to his life trying to remember who he was what his name was so he tried to remember moments where his mom or his dad said his name so that way he could remember his name or in this one instance uncle aaron and i thought that was cool you know with uncle aaron there so um a lot of a lot of stuff in here that i was like oh this is good and it could be better here or it could be better there, but overall, like, I, I didn't dislike this issue. Like, it's still pretty good compared to, um, you know, like, there was, like, one or two issues I think we talked about, like, Scream number one. I was like, I'm not really into this. This seems kind of thrown at you and thrown together um, and, and art, more art-driven than story-driven or uh, less of a balance of the two. And this one, I felt like it, it, it gets a little too wordy with the captions and it's repeating the same thing like it's miles going i remember who i am and then it's the suit going no i gotta shove that part down i i, I gotta remember that i served nolan it's like a lot of that back and forth and after like the second round of it there's like three rounds of that total after the second round i was kind of like eh, it's okay I, I get it you made the point already um you know try to add something new to it but luckily with these flashbacks they were able to and i also like that they teamed up uh, Miles Morales with uh, Dan, that, that serial killer they mentioned in the first issue, where Miles was like, oh my goodness, that serial killer, he got out, he's in Ark, you know, not Arkham, <laughs> he's in Ravencroft, and he got out, um, and, you know, and they were like, yes, he's he's escaped too, and he has a symbiote now, so you actually have Miles with him, and there's some great stuff in this with Miles, like, you know, ta talking to Dan and stuff, um, and and trying to get Dan's side to come out, and there's a, there's a great moment with that, I don't want to spoil it too much, uh, but I would say go pick it up, but the main thing of this is that they have a target now, carnage or dark carnage is sending miles after a specific person um who you know uh <laughs> i guess i'll spoil that because it's not a big deal but it's uh you know he thinks spider-man's a menace he thinks spider-man's a menace and they just released like the dailybugle.net thing that sony did this past couple uh day a couple days ago um before the big announcement that you know spider-man's back in the mcu they did this like online thing where it's uh, J. jonah jameson played by jk simmons uh you know doing the character's voice and impression and and, and being the character and calling spider-man a menace and everything like that so that's kind of fun so they're after J. jonah jameson but another hero uh or anti-hero whatever you want to call her uh she does show up to kind of be a an extra uh you know wrench in the spokes of of you know the, the the mission here where dan and miles are trying to kill j jonah jameson and there's a pretty interesting last page i mean i'm it doesn't look like the this person that gets you know attacked in the last page dies but it, it is a good last page i felt like and this other character like i don't want to spoil who that is but she's pretty awesome and uh, she's been in the spider-man video games you probably already know who it is you probably watched other reviews and they already talked about it or you probably read it yourself and that's fine uh but i don't want to spoil it because uh you know i forgot to give away i forgot to announce the digital code at the beginning i'll edit the code in so you pro hopefully probably saw it um so anyone out there who hasn't read the book hopefully you saw the code and you went and, and downloaded it read it and now you're back here listening uh but uh yeah i forgot to at the beginning sorry I, like i said I'm, I'm feeling sick i'm trying to get through these as fast as i can uh but uh but this was fun it was a fun issue and this character that shows up to put a wrench in the spokes like like i said to, to fight back to help j jones uh j jones jameson fight back and why they're there like it's not it doesn't feel super convenient like it's like i mean it feels like comic book convenient but not like oh come on how did that person get there how do they know or whatever there's like a, there's a reason it's just it just you know wrong place wrong time right place right time whatever uh so i like that i was like okay cool i can buy into that a little bit more so not not bad not a bad book like i said uh but still I, I didn't feel like it was as strong as the first issue, but maybe that's just because they're, you know, they're just trying to do the, the man, second acts are hard, you know, I guess. <laughs> uh, setting up something is, can sometimes be fun and easy, and then ending something, usually you have something in mind for the ending, and the middle is always a little tough, so maybe that's what was going on here. 
Uh, but either way, I still thought it was fun. Um, I would say maybe it's like a two and a half uh, to three out of five if I wanted to rate it. And I would say those still pick it up. If you're a Miles Morales fan, there's still some things in here that were nice. Like those moments, those flashbacks with Uncle Aaron thinking about his mom and dad and stuff. I was like, yeah, that works for me. That's the heart of the character in my in my eyes. So I'm glad that some of that was still in here. So let me know what you guys think. If you read this book down below, uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts on it are. If you got the digital code, let me know what your review is in the comments down below. And uh, and we'll have more of this coming up very soon. We have an amazing Spider-Man issue we got to talk about next, so we'll go do that. So thank you for watching this episode. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I guess I'll see you in the future. Peace.